Welcome to the National Italian American Foundation's New York Gala 2014. For over two centuries, New York has remained the epicenter of the Italian American population and a beacon of Italian heritage and culture. Tonight, NIAF invites you to celebrate that culture and the city that so many of our ancestors have at one point called home. For decades, NIAF has nourished the United States connection to Italy and protected Italian traditions by providing the next generation of Italian Americans from all walks of life with powerful resources, including educational opportunities, travel experiences, and mentorship. Tonight, NIAF is pleased to acknowledge four exceptional individuals whose life accomplishments have helped promote and shape Italian culture in New York and around the world. Born in Frigento Avellino in Italy, Carmine de Sivio immigrated to New York with his family at the age of three and is called the Empire State home ever since. He grew up in the strongly Italian town of Glen Cove, New York on Long Island, then attended Colgate University upstate, followed by a move to Manhattan where he received an MBA degree in finance from New York University's Stern School of Business. In 1985, he joined Ernst & Young, otherwise known as EY, one of the world's leading professional services organizations. Carmine de Sivio has built a legacy throughout his 28-year career at EY and has become regarded as one of the financial services industry's most respected figures, leading over 40,000 professionals in more than 30 countries around the world. Based in New York, he is now EY's global managing partner for client service, as well as the senior advisory partner for many of EY's most significant and largest clients. Today, Carmine de Sivio returns to Italy regularly, on business and with his family. He actively promotes the EY Italian practice and Italian businesses, and is a board member of several education and family-based not-for-profits in the New York and New Jersey areas. Tonight, we honor Carmine de Sivio with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Financial Services. Growing up in Fairlawn, New Jersey, Joseph Francato was influenced by his local Italian-American center, the Cosmos Club, a place where people come first and community means everything. Today, he brings these values to life through architecture and design. As a managing principal at Gensler, he works to improve people's lives by making cities more livable, work smarter, and be more engaging. Based in the firm's New York office, Joseph Francato has been honored by numerous industry and community organizations and has overseen the design of such high-profile projects as the Euro Disney Corporate Center in France, the Hearst Tower Interiors in New York City, and the coming light rail in San Jose, Costa Rica. Despite his global portfolio, Joseph Francato continues to seek out local, community-focused projects and recently won a bid to design Brooklyn's first-ever Italian-American community center. Outside of work, Joseph still finds time to be involved in service organizations in his community, including St. Francis Food Pantries, the AHRC, which serves children in New York with intellectual and developmental disabilities, and notably co-chairs fundraisers for the Federation of Italian American Organizations. Though he no longer lives in Fairlawn, Joseph Francato remains a member of the Cosmos Club. And together with his wife Carla, he strives to pass the values he learned there onto his five children and three grandchildren. Tonight we honor Joseph Francato with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Real Estate and Design. I always say the tenderer the cut of meat, the more bland it is. And the tougher the cut of meat, the more tasty it is, depending on what you do with it. When Marianne Esposito's grandmothers emigrated from Italy to New York State in the 1890s, they brought with them an authentic cooking style that had been passed down for generations. Today, those culinary traditions are inspiring the cooking of millions of Americans, thanks in part to their granddaughter and her hit television program, Ciao Italia. Buonissima. Buonissima. Yeah. Buonissima. 
Entering its 25th year, Ciao Italia with Marianne Esposito is the longest running television cooking program in America. Armed with an authentic Italian-American upbringing and a master's degree in Italian Renaissance cooking, Marianne explores the history of Italian cooking and ensures that every dish is both authentic to Italian tradition and easy for the viewer to cook at home. Through her show, website, and Facebook page, countless public appearances, and authorship of 12 highly distinguished cookbooks, Marianne Esposito has reached an enormous audience while also working alongside other world-renowned chefs. Ciao! Tonight, we honor Marianne Esposito with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Culinary Arts. In 1966, Frank Labuti left his hometown of Huntington, New York to join the Marine Corps. When he moved back to New York, 35 years had passed. In that time, he served in Vietnam where he was wounded three times on three different occasions. He led operations in Japan, Korea, Kenya, and Somalia, oversaw more than 80,000 Marines and commanded at every level of the Marine Corps including its highest rank, Lieutenant General. After his retirement from the military in 2001, Frank Labuti continued in public service for another five years as the NYPD's head of counterterrorism, and then as the first Undersecretary for Information Analysis and Infrastructure Protection at the newly created U.S. Department of Homeland Security. In 2005, Frank Labuti departed from public service and founded the Semper Fi Community Task Force of North Alabama, which still operates, supporting local veterans and wounded warriors. Today, Frank Labuti lives in Maryland with his family and is in the midst of a second career, this time in the private sector, as the head of PSNS Global, and previously as the CEO of Digital Fusion, a publicly traded engineering and technology firm. Tonight, we honor Frank Labuti with the NIAF Special Achievement Award in Military Service. These four stories are a testament to why we are gathered here this evening, and telling them is at the core of NIAF's mission. Thank you for your commitment to that mission and for celebrating these achievements with us tonight. <laughs>